You know, while crews work in the neighborhoods above me here at Lake Sammamish Park, plenty of people trying to get out and have some fun. This little digital thermometer showing 98 degrees. I promise you it is hotter than that as plenty of people head to the water to wait for work to be done. Air conditioning or not, nothing beats cool northwest water as temperatures hit 100 and just keep climbing. When you walk on the sand, your feet burn and it feels like an oven and you want to immediately get in the water. Lake Sammamish State Park drew a crowd. This is about a mile away. Puget Sound Energy crews working to get power back to nearly a thousand people. The dull roar of gas generators keeping the AC running for those lucky enough to have it. The rest of us simply doing our best with fans and ice packs. By late afternoon, PSC reporting their system to be performing well through what could very well be the hottest hours of the week. During these extreme temperatures, we ask customers to be very energy conscious. And so um, if they do have an air conditioner, we ask that they set that thermostat as high as they comfortably possibly can handle inside. Though they're still urging caution, asking customers to hold off running large appliances to both conserve energy and keep temperatures down something we can all get behind. We have one AC in just one room, but we use it for night, so we all cram into that room for sleeping. Heat that may bring restless nights, but if you can find water, it's not all that bad. So to give you a little bit of perspective on power outage numbers, we covered a big winter storm in January that knocked out power to half a million people. Today, we're talking about a few thousand people. Not much of a difference if you're one of those people. In Issaquah, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.